Hot week of weather ahead of us, 89 degrees with the feel like temperature heat index of 95. Southeast wind coming in 18 miles per hour and skies across the region. They are pretty clear, so lots of sunshine out there, not only in South Texas, but for almost all of the state, with the exception of some thunderstorm tops getting into the panhandle, some severe weather over in New Mexico. Uh, but most of Texas is pretty quiet right now. That high pressure feature that is in the Gulf of Mexico it's going to stay out there. That's going to keep the southerly winds coming and on that south wind humidity levels are going to rise. So those high temperatures in the mid to low 90s, they're going to feel like it's between 105 and 110 as we head into Friday and Saturday. Look what happens though between Saturday and Sunday, a little drop in the high temperatures. That'll be closer to seasonal average, and that's because of that cold front. I know it's not going to be cold, but it's still a cold front. Uh, that front that we're going to be tracking, that's still in the Gulf of Alaska. This is the energy that's associated with it. Uh, that'll move into the Pacific Northwest Wednesday, Thursday, drop into the Central Plains. Friday and by Saturday night it'll be over the Great Lakes and that positioning may send a weak boundary into if not through the coastal bend on Saturday night. Not only that, there may be a little chance for shower or thunderstorm activity with it, although the rain chances don't look crazy impressive, but at least we're talking about that possibility as well as dropping those temperatures closer to seasonal average. We're also watching the tropics, this southern Caribbean zone here. There's a tropical wave over Venezuela. You see how that's propagating uh, from east to west there. That's going to be the little feature that as it gets into the southern Caribbean may have a little chance to develop. I will be up front and say that the Hurricane Center is not flagging this at this point. There's the tropical wave. The Hurricane Center, again, not saying anything, but the reason I keep mentioning it is because the GFS and the European forecast models have been very consistent on trying to develop something in Central America uh, between May 18th and May 20th. That's Wednesday through Friday of this week. The most likely scenario that I see at this point is maybe a broad tropical low or maybe even a depression trying to develop in that time frame. But for us, I don't think it's anything to worry about. I'm just mentioning it because uh, it may be the first little sign of the tropics beginning to wake up as we head into hurricane season. The other thing coming out of Central America, smoke from agricultural burns. That high is going to shift off to the east a little bit, and that should open up the window for some haze to get back in here on Thursday. And if that weren't enough, the first plume of Saharan dust may also be working our direction over the weekend. So we may also have that. And by the way, Saharan dust in the Gulf would also help mitigate any tropical activities. So we've got a lot of moving parts uh, in the forecast headed our way. Number one is going to be the heat, though. Tonight, 71, a few clouds, southeast wind, 7 to 14 miles per hour. Here's the heat tomorrow, 94 degrees under sunny to partly cloudy skies, southeast wind, 15 to 25 miles per hour. Triple digits possible inland tomorrow afternoon. Basically, if you're along or west of 281. That's where that 100 degree temperature will be mid 80s at the coast and see there mid to low 90s heading into the weekend Friday 94 beach to bay Saturday. You got to be hydrating before that relay marathon. It's going to be very hot. Looks like the hottest day of the week on Saturday heat index near 110. Then that front comes in a little chance for rain Saturday night and closer to seasonal values 89 behind that front on Sunday. Leslie, my goodness, it continues.